Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daniel Rosal here. I want to talk today about the best uh, video communities for video enthusiasts on Redis. Okay, so Reddit might not be the first place you think to go if you're looking for communities on the internet to talk about your camera or post-production or any aspect of videography. But in my experience, this is actually one of the places where Reddit excels and that's because Reddit is, does a really, really good job at allowing users to create super, super niche communities. So to a certain extent, you're gonna find there is overlap. There are video related communities on Facebook and there's stuff like, for instance, the Canon community forums and I'm sure Panasonic and Blackmagic all have their own forums. What I particularly like about Reddit, why I got started using Reddit, is that everything is together on one website. So instead of needing to have an account on, you know, the Canon, uh, the Canon community forums, and then the Panasonic one and Blackmagic and D and uh, uh, you know a DJI, you can just have your account on Reddit and participate in all these different communities. And if you're totally new to Reddit, each community is known as a subreddit, and it follows the URL format Reddit.com forward slash r forward slash subreddit. So for instance, if I'm talking about our videography, that's how subreddits are typically referenced. The full URL for that is reddit.com uh, forward slash r forward slash videography. If you type that into your search bar right now, you'll get to it. So what I've gone ahead and done, I've been participating in video subreddits for a couple of years. Um, I've seen which ones are active and I've created a uh, custom group of 31 different video subreddits and I'm gonna go through them now. Um, the, this custom collection um, is publicly visible, so I'm going to link to it in the description. And if I can overcome my laziness, um, I will add links to each individual subreddit I've referenced. Um, but uh, that might not, because I, I like to curate these things, so I might be adding more. So if you're really interested in exploring the uh, Reddit videography ecosystem, if you will, then go to my collection rather than an individual subreddit, because there might be more added in the future. So without further ado, uh, let's go in. And just one, one final thing to say in the intro here. Um, there is a little bit of a selection bias going on here because I personally edit uh, using Linux and most people don't. So, um, you know, I've, I've included stuff like the Caden Live subreddit that really probably aren't going to be of, of interest to most non-Linux users. If you are a conventional uh, user and you use Premiere or After Effects, etc., uh, please know that there are subreddits for those as well and more uh, popular naturally than the Linux ones. You can find them by typing that into the, uh, into, the, uh, into the search bar. And don't forget, there's also a Blender subreddit. I actually forgot to include this in my little list. So if you're doing uh, video effects in Blender or other animation programs, you probably have subreddits there too. So let me jump over to my screen now and uh, show you guys the list I have uh, put together and just make a few comments on the most pertinent ones. So uh, these are the communities I've sort of identified as ones I think are really good and wholesome. Um, generally, I look for bigger communities and well-moderated ones. So those are my two kind of criteria. So the first one here, I'm not gonna go into every single one of them, but just to show at least a few of them. Uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera has its own subreddit. It's r forward slash BMPCC. And uh, so if you own a Blackmagic po Pocket Cinema Camera, this uh, community is going to be of interest. Usually most of these subreddits, um, you know, the general rule that um, across Reddit is that Reddit is a really, really not friendly place for spammers, which I think is a really good thing. Uh, so just, just be aware that these subreddits, if you choose to participate in them, they're not places to like spam with your latest YouTube video. Some of the subreddits, because these are for video people, do actually have stuff like a, a Sunday critique post in which people can post their own videos for critique. So that's really useful, but uh, make sure you read the rules, which are generally in the sidebar, uh, before you go, uh, before you even think of doing anything that could be vaguely construed as uh, self-promotional. Okay, uh, let's continue marching through the list here. So here is a really interesting one. It's called build a video, um, build a PC video editing. So it's called this because there is a much bigger subreddit for, there's a few subreddits in fact, for building uh, PCs, if you're thinking about building your own computer. Um, but this subreddit has 2,400 members and its focus is actually for people who are specifically interested in building PCs for video editing, because that requires slightly different specs and people who are just general PC builders may not be familiar with it. So I think this is a really clever idea for a community um, and it's at build a PC uh, video editing. So the next one in our list, ah, I couldn't resist including this one because as anyone who's been following this YouTube channel knows, I'm uh, 
one of the minority of modern video creators who've gone down the uh, the camera route. This one allows you to, to uh, add your own user, user flair by manufacturer, which is nice. So you can say whether you're using Canon or whatever. Um, so yeah, this, uh, this is a community for discussing uh, camcorders as you'd expect, vintage, modern, and anything in between. Um, I'm gonna close these down as I, I, as I kind of uh, finish showing them off. So this is, as you'd expect, smaller, smaller subreddit, 2000 members, but if you're into camcorders, it's definitely nice to have a place to discuss uh, this gear with other uh, enthusiasts. Much, much bigger is uh, our cameras. So this is a six figure subreddit. It's got 110, 111, sorry, thousand participants. Uh, post reviews, articles and videos of products, unboxings, etc. Subreddit to discuss new cameras and camera comparisons, camera lenses, gear and accessories. Now my observation here would be there's duplication both between Facebook and Reddit and there's also duplication within Reddit. So personally, my favorite video subreddit and I'll get to it is our videography. Um, you can definitely talk about cameras with really knowledgeable people there. But if you, for whatever reason, um, cameras uh, appeals to you more, uh, the difference, the, one of the differences, of course, is that cameras doesn't imply that they're just focused on video. Um, so, okay. Um, now, this is an interesting facet of Reddit, again, that you're going to have these like manufacturer forums as, and there's generally in a parallel ecosystem, actual manufacturer run forums. So this is a perfect example. You have the Canon subreddit and then Canon have their own forums. Um, this one is good as well, but it doesn't focus on video. So if you happen to own a Canon camera or uh, you're using it for video, then uh, check out Canon. And again, I'm just in the interest of sort of some kind of brevity, skipping over a lot of subreddits. I'm pretty sure there's ones for Sony, Panasonic, JVC, uh, what have you. All the kind of major manufacturers are gonna be represented here on Reddit and in the form of communities. All right, so um, more interesting ones. Cinematography. Um, really good one. Uh, forum dedicated for to becoming an active resource for cinematographers of all skill levels. Now, something you'll see on Reddit um, in the kind of video subreddit uh, ecosystem, if you will, is that you're going to see some subreddits enforcing a breakdown between communities intended for pros and amateurs because you've got a lot of people who are amateur videographers like me and then you've got a smaller group of people who are doing this professionally it's their job um so communities that are big like this and welcome both sides of that divide it can be really useful because uh you know you're getting a wide participation so that's cinematography and you can just get a feel for what kind of stuff's being uh, discuss, uh, for instance, do the rules for FPS for not getting choppy footage apply to shutter speed as well? General camera question, and there's two comments. So this is a beauty of Reddit is you'll uh, connect with people who are interested in the niches you're interested in. Um, okay, DaVinci Resolve, I'm not gonna go into it because I mentioned I'm including some things. Actually, I will. I was gonna say I'm including things because they're Linux favorites, but DaVinci is actually getting really popular. Um, even on the non-Linux world and kind of chipping away at Premiere. So there is a DaVinci Resolve sub, uh, not officially affiliated with Blackmagic. And if you have your DaVinci questions, you can ask them in there. Um, I ask a lot of questions on Reddit in the realm of video. I'm trying to get better at answering other people's questions. It's just a natural thing when most other people on the forum know more than you do, but um, I encourage people to be sort of conscious of that as well, to be contributors as well as drawing on the expertise in the community. But don't forget when you're creating Reddit posts by asking questions that you're also helping others in a way because people will come across your question and if they have the same question, you can save somebody from posting that on, uh, on Reddit. So that's one of my rationales for, for being pretty active about questioning stuff. Let's go into the drone world for a second. So there's a sub here and this is why I love Reddit because these are the kind of very, very niche communities you might have a hard time finding elsewhere. DIY drones for people who want to build their own drones. So that's something I've never considered doing. Uh, but if you want to consider doing it, uh, go on to uh, DIY drones and you'll find a bunch of experts uh, in that area. DJI, you know, I won't go into DJI. It's for the whole bunch of DJI products. There's also one just our drones. Now here's one definitely worth going into editors and I'll just call up the equivalent so this is the amateur divide I mentioned. Video editing is obviously a huge topic, post-production. Um, <clears throat> so it's divided into two on Reddit. There is this one called R Editors, and R Editors is for the pro, it's the pro one. Um, and then R Video Editing is for the amateur. So this one is 
a subreddit for amateur hobbyist and prosumers editors to meet share techniques tutorials etc 306k members so like this is again the good thing about reddit i'm sorry i'm repeating myself a little bit here if you're in like you know i live in jerusalem so i might find a jerusalem photographer group but when you open up a social network to the world you're going to just get so much more uh, people firstly and uh, much more diversity of expertise and opinions etc so these are big communities 90,000 people in the pro uh, editing reddit, subreddit and 306,000 people in the amateur equivalent all right keeping the tour going Linux filmmaking I'll skip over um, because as I said it's for Linux people Caden live is really mostly for Linux and there's a small Caden live one now here is a uh, what I would consider a ah oh, my brain is failing me tonight um jewel in the rough is that is that is that the analogy anyway one one of the subreddits that uh, are kind of just like hidden gold is this one location sound so this is one where you're gonna get a lot of pros posting like legit industry people who work in Hollywood and again if you're coming into this like me as sort of a more um enthusiast and you're drawing upon the time of professionals just be kind of tactful and whatever but uh, this is a great subreddit you're going to find a lot of questions about sound capture i'll read the description the subreddit for location sound production sound and field recording we are the sound department responsible for recording the audio and shooting film or video and they have a wiki as well so yeah this is an incredible resource if you have i have asked my kind of obscure sound questions here that i think are kind of too sound sound obscure for our videography um stuff to do with you know wireless frequencies you know do you guys know of a uh you know a wireless system that has xlr plug-on transmitter and the xlr plug-on receiver those kind of really obscure things these guys are unbelievable so it's a really good subreddit they've twenty thousand people not as small as you might expect it to be uh, but yeah really great resource all right continuing continuing i'm going to need a big glass of water after this um in terms of subreddits for youtube so this is actually my favorite one. It's called New Tubers, and it's really big, 253,000. And you can talk about specifically YouTube on this. So if you have questions regarding creating thumbnails or blah, 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 uh, this is a, so yeah, there's, um, there's a few other YouTube subreddits. Uh, let's see, there's YouTubers, partnered YouTube. I haven't even visited a bunch of these I've joined, but they're there. Uh, small, white, small white tea channel. This one is a lot less valuable in my opinion because it's people like kind of, uh, this is one that allows you to um, share and gather feedback. So you're just gonna get a bunch of people posting their videos. So I actually find uh, new tubers to be more useful because you know, it's it's more open to like request from viewer to sub my videos in Chinese and share with audience. Anyway, I don't have time to get into each the latest questions in each sub but um that's why that new tubers is my favorite one obs i'm actually recording this video using obs and i think it's a really really incredible piece of software for given the fact it's free for recording whether you're doing streaming and by the way there's a twitch twitcher subreddit too uh but um obs is one is a is a software that i think it really pays to get under the hood of so if you want to do that check out the obs subreddit Again, there's also an OBS forum uh, like on its on OBS's website, but this is really good. You'll get people troubleshooting their OBS issues and you can post to other knowledgeable OBS folk. Oh, okay, streaming. Um, Sony Alpha, name virtually any major camera and even a specific type of camera you'll find a subreddit. So just as an FYI, there is like Sony Alpha. Um, saving the best till last or some of the best till last so getting again into the sort of niche communities you have wedding videography for people who are uh you know uh doing doing wedding videography um i actually don't think there's a subreddit for stock video creators specifically but i think there is one for stock in general called micro stock it could be wrong about that uh it's a pity actually because uh, that's another revenue avenue for a lot of video people is selling stock um, here's an interesting one, video professionals, aimed at creating a community for professionals who make their living. So again, this is one of the ones that's for, for the pros um, and it's pretty open-ended. Finally, my very, very uh, favorite community and I actually just posted here a few hours ago asking for recommendations for a camera shop in Boston. Uh, this, is, this is, I would consider, the most valuable uh, community for video people on Reddit because it's really open. So it specifically says here, our videography is a community for videographers of all skill levels and fields such as weddings, events, live performance, music. One I forgot to include, it's gonna take a while for me to really update this thing, because as I, as I sort of do this video, I'm like, oh, I forgot those. Um, there's actually one for broadcast journalism. I think it's called R Broadcasting. 
again, one of those uh, jewels in the rough, really small but really niche and focused. So if you're interested in specifically broadcasting uh, questions, you'll get, you'll get those, uh, you, you'll find people discussing those there. Um, but coming back to our videography, because it's much broader, um, this is basically it, and they direct you for video professionals if you're looking for a professional one. Uh, but you'll find people asking all and every manner of uh, questions related to video on this. I think that's enough for my whistle stop tour. Frankly, it's been kind of exhausting to speak to speak this fast for uh, whatever, however long I've been speaking. Um, if you're getting into um, video and you want to ask, and that's the beauty of Reddit is, you know, in your real life social circle, you might be the only person into video, or you might not really have a, a real life community in your city or town. But if you go on Reddit, you'll find a ton of people. Um, it's a bit overwhelming how many different communities there are. I would recommend personally starting with our videography and then uh, branching out. So if you own a DJI Ronin FC, you might find value in joining the D DJI community. If you own the FPV drone, join that one, etc. And you'll just kind of discover these. Uh, it's very hard to say what's going to be generally useful, but videography and location sound, because sound matters so much, I would say are two of the ones I would really recommend off the top of my mind uh, to people. Hope that was useful. Thank you guys for watching. And if you'd like to get more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button.